and welcome back to another episode. There's been a few reports of a great white out in Tasman Bay over the last couple of weeks, a few sightings, and one kayaker got uh, followed in on his kayak apparently. But what better time to go look for a kingfish than now? So I'm going to get some gear ready and I'm going to go out tomorrow. My, a mate of mine went out this morning and did some groundwork. Said he saw a few kingfish, but he just couldn't got, quite get them close enough. So I'm going to quickly make up some throw flashes and I'm going to take my string flasher and we're just going to use all the techniques we can to try and bring those weary kingfish in when the water's nice and clear like this. Alright, so anyone that dives with GoPros will know how challenging it can be to keep track of whether it's on or off. And here's a perfect example. I dealt to that squid, thought I'd turn the GoPro off, made another drop and saw a kingfish. By the time I deployed the throw flasher and got the camera back on, I'd already taken a shot and it was fish on. Get out of the water as fast as you can before that great white shows up. Gear snagged on the bottom, so we're gonna go get it.
just gone past 7 a.m. and fish on the deck, so pretty happy about that. If you do a lot of shore diving and you don't have a ute, get yourself one of these four wheel drive dirty gear bags. They're great for dive gear, drain hole in the bottom, and that means you're not putting salty gear in the back of your car. Let's make up these throw flashes. I'll quickly show you how you do that for a couple of bucks. Just some uh, reflective tape you can get from any uh, safety shop. In low light conditions, these things absolutely flare up. So yeah, awesome little tool to have and fits in your knife pocket of your wetsuit and it's always on hand to throw when you need it. First, get yourself some PVC pipe off cuts and chop it to 200 mil probably. All right, so this is the stuff I've got. There's plenty of stuff out there, but I like this stuff because it's kind of got fish scales and it's got reflective in different directions, so it really picks up the light. This stuff is quite pricey, but you get heaps out of it, and if you chip in with the boys, make yourself some flashes, it's probably not so bad, so, yeah. So you're just going to measure it up. One wrap. There you go, these are tickets to a kingfish. We're just going to get them wrapped up. Don't have to be too precise with this, unless you're going to measure out your stick to be perfectly three lengths. But it doesn't matter if you have a gap in between. And then you're good. I actually go over that with some clear tape. Just gives it a bit of extra strength because this stuff's quite rigid. And um, it doesn't affect the, the sparkle in any way. There you go. Throw flashing number one. Alright, so there you go, a couple of flashes made up. Take them out next time you go, look for a kingfish. And these moray suits actually have a knife pocket on the arm, so keeps them on hand when you need it. Sweet. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good Christmas, and we'll see you next time.